Hello, Robbie Strike here. Today we're going to take a look at the, the Thor H Spartan 4 IPTV video streamer modulator. And what this device will do is it will take a video source from HDMI or a uh, video, an analog video source, and convert it to an IPTV streaming channel so that you can view it over the internet to a server or you can stream it over your local area network. The H Spartan 4 has the ability to do four different video channels at once so that you can have uh, you basically make your own cable system or whatever you need to do with sending video over, over a network. This video is a sponsored video. Thor Broadcast has sent me this unit to review. So just for full disclosure um, that they did provide me with this, uh, generously provide me with this uh, unit uh, to do a review on it for this video. Also have a good look at thorbroadcast.com for all sorts of products, video modulators, encoders, and all things video that you can find at uh, thorbroadcast.com. If you're looking for a solution for your streaming or uh, video distribution needs, uh, check this site out. I have reviewed several of Thor Broadcast's products on my channel, and they also have their own YouTube channel where they've uh, reviewed a lot of their products. So you can check those out. Uh, there'll be links in the end screen. All right, to get a better look at what the back is doing here. So I have the HDMI cable in there and that HDMI port. You can plug out four different HDMIs to, the, to this. So the cool thing with this is if you wanted, if you had wanted to like stream four standard definition channels, you could do that. Or if you wanted to stream four HDMI or mix it up, you can totally do that, which is really nice. Also makes it a video capture device <laughs> if you want to record the network feed. Uh, so lots of applications you can do with this uh, when it comes to streaming. I, I do believe there's a version of this that just will do one channel if that's all you need, which makes it a lot cheaper. But if you also you want to do like your own home network, you can always stack these and have basically your whole make your own cable system out of one, a bunch of these if you got the money for it. So what I simply did is I edited my N NMS IP to uh, its local area address, which is 192.168. So you just simply go in here and you enter and then it will allow you to edit it and you edit it to whatever IP address you want. I'm gonna leave that at that. But definitely if you wanna, you, uh, you'll have to set up the IP address for it to work on the network. So that'll be the one of the first things you'll wanna do is just go into your, uh, set that up. All right, so I have the Spartan 4 running, humming away here. Uh, so the way I have it here is I have uh, the two network ports plugged in. Coder set up data IP. It's easy. I just find it's a lot easier to connect it with the net web interface. But you can navigate it with this. I have all that. I'm not gonna mess with this right now because I have it all set up the way I want. But you will have to set your IP address with this. So I'll just give it a static IP address. So then you can connect it with your computer uh, on your network. So uh, so the green light here, which I found is interesting. That's my standard definition input, which is this. Um, satellite receiver it's an old open box free to air satellite receiver which i am using um I have it hooked up to the back uh and then these two which are not being used these feeds so they'll just flash because they're not being used you can run all four i just i just was just gonna run two uh, so i got this one's for the hd and this one is for the um standard definition so i do for my hd source i just use this uh, over the air homeworks box just plugged into my antenna and it's just putting out the PBS signal just uh, just uh, the uh, PBS feed through the network just as uh, for demonstration purposes or I can put any feed that I want really you can use a IP address like a 192.168 put it in your browser and make sure it's on the same network but uh, that you have this so if it's on your home network this will work so uh, when you type that in uh, it will say this as the static IP address on the front of your receiver and then you log in and here we are we're logged into the server and this is where you can do a lot of editing of your device so you'll be able to see the unit that you have the firmware version model and all that information is to encode your video now on this I have two video sources I have my encode one and two or my source one and two and I don't have anything in my three and four at this time so there you got your video encoder which you can select now for HD it's only going to give you the option of H.264 but for the standard definition it will give you an MPEG-2 that old MPEG-2 from like the 
uh, early 1990s um, that we still use today, a video codec, video bitrate, rate mode. Uh, you can switch to consistent bitrate or a variable bitrate. I have it on a variable. Audio encoder, which is AC3. So if you don't have a device that can tune AC3, but most things can. Uh, audio bitrate for good audio quality. Uh, and it's, I have it top. No, I guess you can go even higher. But I have a minimal 128 audio bitrate, which is fine. Uh, CC enable. So the nice thing that this does have that I want to point out, it does have a closed captioning. Um, if you do have a closed captioning output that you can put into this. I haven't really seen too many devices that do that. The main profile is the uh, high definition video. Uh, the H.264 level is 4. Uh, GOB structure is the IPB or IPPP. I'm just going to leave it on default. And I leave all these settings uh, on the PIDs all on its default. So I was just going to show you how to um, view the uh, HDMI port 1 on this. Or, uh, so I just uh, go here to ST, SPTS1, which is a, the RTMP feed, colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.168.1.192, as I have here. It also has the, uh, the live number. So you just go into VLC or any media player. Uh, I like to use VLC, but it will work in other media players too. And there it is all set to go. If it's not, you just copy and paste it or control A. Control C, Control V, it into the link into there. There. And so this is my over the air tuner, which I have an HDMI out, uh, source going into. I'm just using that. It's windowed. I'll make it small here. Oh. <laughs> make it windowed. So there it is with VLC playing in the background of uh they have like a camp tv uh show on pbs anyway uh so there's my signal quality for the box you can see the movement of the video in the background i'm just not going to show the full thing for copyright reasons um but yeah there's the, the video feed this is um coming out at so here it is with the video resolution at 1080p now this device does not do 4k uh they do, I do believe for Thor Broadcast does have 4K devices. I find the nice thing is this device will match the frame rate and resolution. So if you're putting out 720p, it will automatically detect it 720p and uh, and put out the, that resolution if that's what you want. So basically, if you want to control the resolution of your output, say from 720p to 1080p, 480p, use your device, which in my case, it's a... Uh, it's a Homeworks uh, TV tuner box. Playback uh, this, and you just go in the settings and check, change your output to that. So here's uh, the standard definition feed, which is like a. I'll go back to VLC, VLC, network stream. Just control V that in there. There. So I re I um, dropped the video bit rate down quite significantly, but it really does not look good at like one megabyte per second. I probably would want to bring the video bit rate up a little bit. It all depends on how uh, you're going with your video bit rate. I think two, it looked a little better. There we go. So if you want to use RTMP Live, it will basically create a, U uh, a YouTube uh, link for YouTube or whatever website you want to go to. And then you just enter your stream key and you, away you go. And you use this device instead of a computer to, uh, to stream your content online. Watch my next video where I'll be uh, talking about the Thor modulator, uh, a Thor video modulator that will send signal through coax cable uh, from an HDMI source of uh, eight different channels. So please hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel and my other social media content. Also, I would like to thank my Patreons and the people who've donated through PayPal Donate with the cost of making some of these videos and buying products to review. Also, if you want to support me over on Patreon or PayPal Donate, it's a few dollars a month to help support production of my videos so that I can continue helping people with tech stuff like this. And thank you to all those out there who has supported my channel and my video work and online activity over these years by subscribing, by liking, by commenting. I really appreciate the interaction with you guys.